President Trump's immigration reform plan, a hot topic during our Facebook Live discussion tonight. Political reporter Jack Fink is in studio with us. And Jack, were your panelists able to reach a compromise? Well, Gilma, our panelists disagreed over whether DACA recipients, those brought here illegally by their parents when they were young, should be given a path to citizenship or just a path to legalization. But they do agree that Congress needs to act after they say leaders have kicked the can down the road for too long. You know what? Both sides have failed. Let's figure out where we at, where we're at. Let's not punish those that, you know, because of people couldn't agree. And let's come to some agreement. If we would have stayed on this path of just, you know, DACA, renewing uh, DACA every two years, yes, absolutely, it would have been eventually rescinded, and, you know, we 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 would still need a permanent solution. Eric Burgos says he wants Congress to reach a compromise. He says he wishes the president had come to an agreement with members of Congress before rescinding President Obama's DACA program, which kept the government from deporting about 700,000 people who registered for the program. Also tonight, our panel disagreed over the need for expanding a wall along the southern border. We're the safest that we've ever been, and to continue to say that we need to do all of these changes to our immigration system because we're not safe, is flat we, out We are false. the most threatened that we've ever been. I know people that own property on the border, and they'll tell you that people come across any time they feel like it. They find evidence of people crossing constantly. If you missed our conversation tonight, no problem. You can still find it at the top of our CBS DFW Facebook page. Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.